Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Albert Knapp and I'm here with Monica Fife, a marriage and family therapist and board certified behavior analyst. We are on a board of a nonprofit together called Our Village, a social learning community. Monica, thank you so much for coming today. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Of course, it's always great to be here. Oh, thank you. So we're here today to talk a little bit more about the services that Our Village provides. So Monica, I understand that you provide services for children on the spectrum. Yes. What are some of the services currently going on in Our Village? So at Our Village, um, part of our mission is to provide um, different support groups to children on the autism spectrum. And um, we do this in many different ways. The first way is to address the needs of teenagers. And so also part of our mission is to deliver, you know, the best kind of research-based, evidence-based programs to the community. And so we have found that the PEERS program for teens is very effective. Um, we are certified PEERS facilitators, and um, this was a program developed at UCLA by Dr. Lagasen. Mm -hmm. It's a 14-week program where uh, we train teenagers on certain soft social skills, um, such as how to enter a conversation, how to handle teasing and bullying, how to do appropriate humor, um, and on in addition, what's really nice about this program is we have parents attend a concurrent session, oh, nice. which teens really like because a lot of times they've grown up with lots of different therapies, but now parents also have to like take a class and do some work, and mm. so they really like that. And so if I'm working with teens in one room, my co-facilitator might be working with parents in the other room and teaching the parents how to be social coaches. Nice. So now they wear a different hat with their teenager, and they have long-term effects where the parents can always be that person in their corner reinforcing all the wonderful social skills that they've learned awesome. over the years. Yeah. And how often do you run these groups? We run them um, biannually, and they run 14 weeks each session. Okay, so yeah. like fall and spring? Yep, that's pretty much. We try to follow the school calendar, okay. um, and we run them across the South Bay. Awesome, thank you. Um, yeah. And there are, are there other programs other than the Pierce Group that our village offers? Yes, we also have, um, for younger kids, more of like a play-based, social-based model. We use peer mediation um, interventions. So we try to recruit uh, mentor peers in the group as well. So we're always looking for mentors. Um, and it, we keep the group small, like three to five members. This way we can really um, reinforce and give feedback to kids in the moment on play and social skills uh, based on the integrated play group model. Awesome. Yeah. And how often do these groups run? Our goal is to run one um, quarterly. Okay. So as long as we have the right matches with gender and play levels, that's what we try to do. Awesome. Yeah. And then is there another program that our village is currently running? Our third group that we are really excited about, we just received a certification on, is um, that we are now Sib Shop Facilitators. Oh, wow. Yeah, and this is a nationwide program developed by Don Meyer um, that offers really fun, very active support groups to uh, children who have a brother or sister with any special need. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter the special need because mm -hmm. they can all relate that they just have a brother or sister, um, that they have different challenges with at home. Okay. Yeah. And when um, does this group run? We're trying to launch a camp this summer and just okay. make a really fun, packed week, like a Monday through Friday kind of camp where these siblings can come um, and have the whole week with us with games and fun activities, mm -hmm. and then mixed in um, moments of sharing and working through the processes of being a sibling. Okay. Um, so right now, we're probably thinking July. Okay, Yeah. for summer, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. The families are home from school and they'll be yeah. able to attend. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so I know that you work a lot with kids on the autism spectrum, mm -hmm. and April is Autism Awareness Month. Yes. Is our village doing an event for Autism Awareness Month? Yes, we definitely want to help promote awareness to the community. So to kick off Autism Awareness Month, we are having a super fun event um, called Wine Down. Um, <laughs> and it is a wine tasting event. Oh, nice. Yeah, so who doesn't like that? Right, so I guess these for the parents, I assume, if it's a wine tasting event. Yes, you're correct. Awesome. It's for the parents. And um, the nice thing is kids can come too. It's a family-friendly mm -hmm. event. Um, it's also sponsored by Mercury Wine Club and um, AKA. 
Thank you very much. You're welcome. And it will be hosted in a fun environment for kids, and parents can come, free admission, and just learn more about what we do. Yeah, you know, the address will be up on the bottom of the video, so you'll be able to know how to come to this event. So yeah. the event is April 1st. Yes, April from 1st. From 2 to 4. Mm -hmm. 2 to 4 p.m., and we'll have fun raffle prizes, casual event. Just mm -hmm. come stop by and check us out and enjoy some wine. Is admission free? Admission is free. And wine tasting is free, too. Wine right? tasting is free. That's, awesome. Yeah, pretty cool. That does sound like a, lot, a really good, fun event um, yeah. for the families. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming today, Monica. I really oh, appreciate you sharing hey. about our village. My pleasure. You're welcome. Thank All you, right. Albert. You're welcome. Bye-bye, everyone.